So your relationship then as a mayor, and again, as we continue in depth, <laughs> addressing the issue of education of your citizens in order for them to be productive members of the community so you can focus on other things. I, I, need, I need that. I need you know, the educator. I need uh, you know, Jennings, uh, you know, uh, CEO Jennings and, and soon to be Superintendent Jennings, you know, for us to have a strategic plan on how to deal with you know, the city and education and how's that play. You know, one of the things I want to make sure that I don't want to just get, give the kids in the Youngstown City Schools a summer job. I want to give them all season job for a career. When you look at the city of Youngstown, 84% of the residents have a high school diploma on GED equivalency. That is not a bad thing when no. you're talking about economic development. Role of the mayor, again, in depth uh, mm -hmm. in economic development job opportunities. So you, you take that 84% and figure out what's, what's the workforce asking? What, are, what do they need for the next year? Is it, is it added manufacturing? Is it 3D printing? Uh, sustainable energy? We're talking about wind, solar, all those things that are happening now. How can we take those, that 84% and translate that to individuals to have a career, not just a job, and the, the, those jobs that are coming? Altium sales, you know, EV vehicles are coming. We've just got to be ready, and we need to make sure YSU, uh, Eastern Gateway, are, are making sure that they're educating those individuals when they come out with that 84%. What's the next step? What's the next level for them? So the, the mayor's role in all of that, again, is looking at that bigger picture, it being engaged and involved for the future citizens and those individuals that are working, employed, quality income, quality of life, are not likely to be crime. Right, if you, if you find the, the best social program out there for individual is employment. You get individual employed, get their, you know, where they can find that they can have, you know, money in their pocket, they can feed their family, but also now, what do I do when I get a, a little older? I have a retirement plan. Many of our young men and women don't even think about retirement age, and we want to get them to think of past today and to start thinking about their future. But we have a population who don't see themselves living to retirement age. It's unfortunate. If you talk to some of the young men and women that we, I come in contact, you know, I'd say, well, my question is, what do you want to do in the next five years? I've, I've stopped asking five. What do you want to do in the next two years? You know, where do you see yourself in the next two years? And many of them don't, don't see their plan of action. And that's why we want to, you know, put them together with our serve program, with some of our, our workforce development programs out there, and say, here's what you can be, be, here's what you can be doing in the next two years. Here's how much money you can do. Here's how you can be taking care of your family in the next two years. What's going on in the city of Youngstown for those individuals who are not in school? So, you, if you're if you're not in school, there there are various um, opportunities. Um, we, if you're not in school right now, so we we have. Uh, employment opportunities or it's workforce training and, th and I, I say that because that's going to be the, the key for us but also the PCD we really haven't had a lot of uh, opportunities to talk about is mental health you know a lot of our families are suffering um, from uh, PTSD and you don't realize if you're the fourth generation um, you had a father or a brother or a cousin um, from gun violence or you, you witness gun violence or domestic violence and if that continues from generation to generation uh, that translates into the household and the social dynamics that we need to deal with. So those individuals are out of school, still dealing with those social issues. we got to continue to work with them. I want to thank you, Mayor, for spending time again with us and for the in-depth discussion, the solution to the challenges that the city of Youngstown is facing. And I thank you as well. I'm Dee Crawford, Community Affairs Director, WKBN.